The CDC has warned that at this point, it's not a matter of if the coronavirus makes it to the United States, but rather when it makes it to the United States. Yeah, so we wanted to know what local hospitals are doing to keep you safe. CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki spent the day at Duke getting answers. Well, Angela Morris, you may remember that Duke has already had a coronavirus scare that turned out to be a false alarm. And many of the medical professionals that I'm in contact with tell me they're still much more concerned about the flu. As the world scrambles to get ahead of the spread of coronavirus, Duke University Hospital President Dr. Thomas Owen says he's watching with a keen eye. We're certainly concerned about what we've seen with the, the, the community spread of coronavirus in several other parts of the world. I would say again that the risk today for our patients, for our community, is very, very small. It's actually not any more dangerous than influenza or most of the other serious respiratory viruses that, uh, that surround us. While this specific type of coronavirus is new, Coronavirus itself has been well known for decades. And Dr. Owen says it's as easy to fight as any other virus. Good hand hygiene, good environmental cleaning uh, is, is, is very successful in managing this virus. And like most respiratory viruses, coronavirus is spread both by uh, inanimate objects, things we touch uh, with uh, fluids like secretions from our nose or mouth. Dr. Owen says previous outbreaks of SARS, MERS, and H1N1 have prepared many medical professionals. So I asked if this virus would simply go away as the weather warmed up, as President Trump previously claimed. So as the humidity increases, as the temperature rises, those particles don't stay suspended in the, in the air as much, and that helps to decrease the infectiousness of them. So in, in general, that's true. The Duke system is preparing to treat outbreaks of coronavirus should they reach central North Carolina, but... Right now, we don't think that's uh, highly likely to happen, but our job is to be prepared for what our community might need. Now, one interesting note that I found out today is that Duke and many other local hospitals don't actually have a test for the new novel coronavirus. They have to take samples and send them to the CDC. Live in the studio, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.